I'm Paulie G, owner of uh, Paulie G's Greenpoint Pizza Joint, and I'm here to answer some questions for the Serious Eats community today. Our Jelly asks, which pizzaiolos had the most influence on what you currently do, and what techniques did you take from each of them? That's a great question. Uh, there have been a number of pizzaiolos who I uh, looked up to, and I befriended most of them, and I learned a lot from all of them. Um, starting with um, Matthew Palombino from Motorino, I, I really admired uh, what he did first time, you know, opening up a pizzeria, and I learned a lot about, you know, how he got it all set up. Mark Iancano from Lucale really inspired me to create what I like to call pizza theater. When you go into Lucale, you don't, you're just not in there eating pizza. You feel you're, you're someplace really special. And that also brings me to uh, Chris Parancini from Roberta's because I feel the same way when I walk into Roberta's. I was really inspired by their ability to take a space and not do very much with it and create a great feeling when you walk in there. They also inspired me with their unique topping combinations. Those places were really a great influence to me. Also, Dom DeMarco, I looked at him and I said, if he could do it at his age, I could do it at my age. And also the guys at Nomad Pizza, Tom Grimm and Stalin, they were very, very helpful because they had the same equipment I did. They had a Stefano Ferrara oven and they had the exact same dough mixer that uh, I had. And I spent a lot of time with them learning how they ran their operation, not just mixing the dough and you know, work in the oven, but uh, also, you know, storage of dough and just how they ran their pizzeria. They were very, very helpful to me. Another really great influence on me was Chris Bianco. When I got to spend a little bit of time with him in Phoenix uh, a couple of years ago, one of the things they talked about was making fresh mozzarella with him. And, and he said, you know, I make my own fresh mozzarella, but the only reason I do that is I can't find anybody here in Phoenix who makes a product that I'd really be happy with. If there was somebody in the neighborhood, you know, in the area who, who I could get it from, I'd rather do that to make it myself because then you support the community. And that little thing that he said led me to operate in, in a way where I support as many people in the community as I can. And I think that's helped me a great deal with Mike's Hot Honey, with uh, C. Bean Goods, who cooks in my kitchen, uh, with uh, bacon marmalade, and that was very important to what I'm doing today. Roberta's, Motorino, Nomad, Don DeMarco, who am I forgetting? Nobody?